In this video I'm going to show you how to make a planet. And here's what the planet is going to look like. To start off what it was, it was a whole bunch of photos taken with my GoPro while I was out for a job today. So first job is to get the photos off the GoPro into the computer and then we'll start editing them. Now the software I'm going to use is this stuff called PTGUI or PTGUI. Now this stuff totally kicks ass and it kicks Photoshop's ass so much. I tried to do this in the uh, earlier today with Photoshop and it 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 just failed so much. It took forever and it never actually created the image. So I've got two edits to do here, or two shots to do here, and there are quite a lot of photos in this one. So let's see, if I open up this one, let's see how many photos have I got here. So a total of 23 images that this is going to have to process into a planet, or into an image for me. And what it was is, it was 360 degrees of me going around in a circle, and also doing a couple above and a couple below. So let's just go and click Align Images. And here, that's it. Slowly putting them all together. And bingo! Okay, that is the shot. Obviously, this wasn't very well done. I didn't use it on a tripod. I didn't really do any control. And also the GoPro, you've got no manual controls there. So the exposure changed a lot as I went around. I could do a whole bunch of manual setting or manual corrections here, can't be bothered, just want to show you what it looks like. So that is how the image comes out straight away. And you'll notice it looks really funny at the bottom. Like, what the heck is going on here? Well, that's because that is everything spread out and it just looks a bit guff. And there's one thing that we can do, we can change here, we can go to Little Planet. And bingo, look at that. Here we can see what our little planet looks like. And that is all within the PT GUI software. Uh, I just clicked little planet 360 degree stereographic image. However, this way, this is a slightly different way. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on a spherical 360 by 180 degrees equirectilangu something something. I'm going to export it like this because it gives me a little bit more choices of editing afterwards. So let's just go. So what you do, just close that down and you click create panorama. I'm just going to make it optimum size, now nah, 4 megapixels or maybe what I'll do is I'll make it 3000. Cool. Now the second software I'm going to use is this one, which is like a free Photoshop or like a very simple Photoshop called GIMP. And in here we're just going to open up the image. So here we've got the image nice and clear for us to see. And what I'll do is I'm going to crop it first. So to crop it, go up and click this tool, make sure you're on it. And then I'm going to make sure I get all the way from the edges right down to the bottom and try and get as far up to the top as possible. And that's all that. Click enter, return, whatever it is. And then up here, I go to filter, distort, polar coordinates, and I'm gonna take away the map from top so it looks like a little planet. If you do it the other way, it goes the opposite way, which is kind of cool as well, but we're gonna go as if we're looking down upon ourselves. So let it do that. So here's our little planet. Now, how do we make the sky a little bit bigger? Because the sky's pretty close to it. So what we need to do is again, crop it. This time, we're cropping it in a square shape. So this one, I'm just bringing it right into the edges, there and there. That's looking good. So that's a perfect little square. Click enter, return, whatever. Go to filters again, this time distort, and this time it is lens distortion. And here I'm just going to play around with the settings here, main and edge, and bingo. So just a couple little changes there. And there, there you have it. I shall just make that a little bit bigger. That is my little planet, where it's a nice square thing, and it's looking down exactly where I was standing. In fact, you can see my shadow, so that is my shadow. So I obviously moved and things didn't quite work, but uh, yeah, it's kind of cool.
uh, something which all of you can do for almost free. PT GUI, you can use a trial of that. I'll just put his little logos all over it. Uh, but it's quite an interesting effect, and definitely you can do some cool stuff with that in so many situations. And if you're just doing it for fun like this, you don't really need a tripod, you don't need a super amazing camera. I was just using a £300 GoPro camera, which has got like a very wide angle lens, and that was it. So there you go. Hope that helps. Cheers. Bye bye. I mean, honestly, what's better? Being in a gym or being up the side of a mountain in the same amount of time and looking over your own city and having views like that. I mean, come on. It's a sunny day. It's a clear blue sky day. The point of blue skies is to get outside.